press my, conference. My guy's more important than you, press. bro. Now he's gonna go on Instagram. Look at this guy. Look, he's nervous, man. <laughs> Number one. <what? laughs> Number one. Vas a ver. Vas a ver. Que voy a ver, mijo. Que voy a ver. Voy a ver que un show nunca vio. Vas a ver. YouTube. What's going on? When he peach up in there one time, we're gonna talk some boxing. Go talk about some upcoming fights. Yes. Some upcoming fights. Big fights. And what of these fights are not is not happening. I'm gonna just tell you that now. But yes, David Benavidez and David Morrell is heating up. Yes, it's heating up. Light heavyweight. Both of these guys are, you know, coming up from super middleweight. They both have a fight at light heavyweight. And I'm tired of people saying David Benavidez didn't look good against Alexander Vosnik. He won nine out of 12 rounds. Just because he didn't knock him out doesn't mean he didn't look good. But you have a lot of Canelo fans that's hating on David Benavidez saying he didn't look good. But he, he hurt his hand, you know, the lead up to the fight, no excuses. He said he hurt his hand, still no excuses, and he still got the job done. You know, he got a little fatigue, but he got the job done. He looked better than David Morrell did at 175. We want to be real. David Morrell hasn't looked that, you know, great at 175. We want to be real. You know, didn't look like his power, you know, small sample size, but some people say didn't look like David Benavidez's power, you know, carried to 175 either. But... David Benavidez, he never been a one punch knockout guy anyway. He always bitch, he always knock you out with a combination of punches. He 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 wear you down with punches. He never been a one punch knockout guy. Now Dave Morrell, that's the one punch knockout guy. You know? And the fight is heating up. You're getting into February. I want to say we get in February. It was rumors that it was gonna be on the tank. Lamont Roach undercard, but Benavidez, he gonna headline his own pay-per-view card. This, they should. They should. You know, this is a big fight. Like, if you're a hardcore fan, you know this is the fight. This was the fight at 168. If Benavidez wasn't gonna get the Canelo fight, this was the fight. And they both moved up to light heavyweight, so this is the fight as well. It is. So, we have a date. We have a date, and... I'm not giving my breakdown of my prediction, you know, to the week of, but it's heating up. And we will have a fight. We will have a fight. These two will fight. I'll tell you who won't fight. Shakur Stevenson and William Zepeda. Yes, they will not fight. They will not fight. That fight will not happen. You may see Tank and Shakur before you see Shakur and William Zepeda. Oscar De La Hoya will not put William Zepeda in there with Shakur Stevenson. He does not believe in William Zepeda to beat Shakur Stevenson. I don't care how Oscar De La Hoya come off and want to talk shit, act like his fighters is this, his fighters is that. No, he will not do it. He won't put Virgil Ortiz in there with Terrence Crawford either. He just seen Virgil Ortiz be in a dog fight with Sir Boucher. So, he know Virgil Ortiz ain't all, ain't all what he thought he was to to be either. And I like Virgil T. He's one of my favorite fighters, but Sir Buicek exposed that man, showing that man he got a lot of flaws, especially defensively. We knew that with Virgil Ortiz, but his power and his offense always overshadowed his lack of defense. You know? But Virgil Ortiz got some big big holes in this game. And I like Virgil T, one of my favorite fighters. But Oscar De La Hoya, he's starting to see that his his guys is not like that. You know, where's the pay to, you know, Virgil Ortiz. And he wasn't going to put Ryan Garcia in there with Tank if it wasn't for Ryan Garcia basically damn near making the fight itself. You know, he basically made that fight itself. He determined to fight Tank because Oscar didn't want to do it. Oscar just liked to blow, blow hot air, make it seem like he wanted to set up these big fights. He's not trying to set up his these big fights. Where's the pay to has a lot of flaws. Tevin Farmer exposed that. Where's the pedal? Yeah, fast hands and you can look good. Is it that? Man, you get up close on that guy and make it a make it a make it a um a barroom fight, chest to chest. Where's the pedal? Ain't got nothing coming. 
when Zepeda ain't got nothing coming. And Shakur, he ain't exposed with Zepeda. He don't even have to fight him in the inside. He could he could beat him from the outside. He could just box William Zepeda, Shakur Stevenson. Because Shakur Stevenson a boxer anyway. You know, he don't really want to mix it up all like that anyway. We want to be real, but he could just box William Zepeda. He can't. He could just outbox him, you know, bob and weave and just in and out with William Zepeda. William Zepeda ain't got no real... Like, I like William Zepeda, but he ain't got no real, like... No real skill sets. You know what I mean? He got some fast hands, you know. He could throw some... Throw some hands, but he ain't got no real skill set. We want to be real with him, Zepeda. He don't. As far as footwork and things like that, he ain't got no real, no real skills besides the, you know his fast hands and he can look good and he, he kind of explosive. But Shakur Stevenson can Shakur Stevenson can negate all that with his footwork and his you know feints and shit like that. You know, so but yeah, Oscar just blowing hot air. You know, I was on the road. I got to my destination, but yeah. Oscar blowing hot air, man. He not going to put Williams and Payton in there with Shakur Stevenson. He been doing that just to build up Williams and Payton's name. That's why he been doing that shit, Oscar, to build up his name, to build up Williams and Payton's name. That fight not happening. Now they're talking about a hand injury with Williams and Payton. That fight was never happening. They was using Shakur's name for clout. That fight was never happening. And Virgil Ortiz was never going to fight Terrence Crawford. Oscar blowing hot air out here. He is, but... I'm going to talk some boxing. Let me know what y'all think. You know, I reached my destination on the road, but comment, like, subscribe. That's where you can help us share the video, talk some boxing, talk about some upcoming fights and fights that won't happen. I'm just being real. I talk real. Fighters don't pay me. I see through the bullshit, but let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe. That's where you can help us share the video. Get entertained and hit that cash app. That's what I do. Talk some boxing. Knock another one out. Bop, bop, bop. Let's get it.